I like to run and sometimes I'll set a goal. Like for this season, I wanted to get comfortable with running a half marathon. Coaching is valuable and this season I'm saving money. So I wanted to leverage ChatGPT to help me with my training. And because I probably have ADHD, I spent the day building this tool that prepares your Strava data, asks you some questions and gives you a prompt to use with ChatGPT or any LLM along with your Strava data to create a training plan to meet your goal. And that can be any goal, whether it's to complete a 5K, complete a 10K, get faster at your half marathon, or run your first marathon. Whatever it is, you can now use ChatGPT as your running or cycling coach. You do need a Strava account to do this. ChatGPT looks at your recent work history to come up with your training plan. So head on over to Strava, go to your profile photo on the right here, click settings, then my account, and scroll down to download or delete your account. Click get started. Don't worry, we won't delete your account. You're just going to download your data archive. Go to number two, download request, and click on the request your archive button. You can only do this once a week. Strava will then email you a link to download your data. When it arrives, click download your archive. Once it's downloaded, extract the archive by double clicking it. Inside the extracted folder is a file called activities.csv. This file has every one of the activities that you've ever recorded with Strava. If you've been with Strava for a long time, I've been with them since 2013, then you need to cut this down to just the past six months, which are the most valuable when ChatGPT wants to come up with your training plan. That's where my AI training plan builder comes in. So I built it on Lovable. So you have to go to ai-training-plan-builder.lovable.app. I may change the domain to something easier to remember. And if I do, I'll share the link in the video description. Upload your activities.csv file and choose the sport that you want to train for. Don't worry, the site does everything in your browser. It does not store any of your data anywhere. Then it will filter your Strava activities down to the sport you chose for the last six months. Now download this filtered CSV and remember where you save it because you're gonna to wanna to use that with ChatGPT later. Then fill out the form with all of your details. Again, none of this gets saved. It's just information that ChatGPT will use to come up with your training plan. The more detail you give it, the better the training plan is tailored to you. Tell it your goal, your target date if you have one, when you want to start your training plan, your age, your gender, your height and weight, which days you want to train, when you want to do longer runs or rides, if you want to include cross training, and what types of cross training you prefer the type of export you want for your training calendar, your preferred units, any other details that might be important to know before it comes up with your plan, like an injury or a preference, and then your experience level when it comes to fitness technology. Hit generate and voila, you got a prompt. Now copy that prompt to your clipboard. And if you hadn't downloaded your filtered CSV from the previous section, you can also do that now. Then head over to ChatGPT, paste in the prompt and add the filtered CSV file to the prompt as well and then let ChatGPT do its thing. You'll get an analysis of your previous six months where it gives you an overview, analyzes your volume and consistency, looks at your long activities and how you're progressing and your intensity. It analyzes your strengths and limits. And then using all of this, it comes up with your training plan. So if you selected a CSV, you can take that over to Google Sheets or Excel and open it up there. Or if you chose a calendar file, then you can import that into your Google Calendar or your Apple Calendar or wherever so you can see what days you should be doing what workouts. Hopefully you find this useful. If you have any feedback, you can leave a comment or reach out to me on AI Training Plan Builder website. There's probably gonna be a feedback form there by the time this video is live. Thank you for watching.